my name is Peyton, my pronouns are she, they, and you are watching Couch 44. Today we're switching it up a little bit. I'm really lucky because I get to talk to a whole bunch of actors. Would you all like to introduce yourselves? Yeah, uh, I'm Ethan, uh, Ethan McLean, and my pronouns are they, them, and he, him. Uh, and I'm Shabana Aziz, my pronouns are she, her. I'm Ren Williams, and my pronouns are she, her. I'm Maya Stewartson, and my pronouns are she, her. Lovely. So, to dive right into it, I would love to hear you talk a little bit about the sets that you've been on that felt really safe or welcoming, and what was it about those sets that made you feel welcome? Shall I start? <laughs> Go for it. Um, I actually recently just came off of one of my set favourite sets. Um, it was a very like queer inclusive film, so naturally I was already going to feel a little bit more comfortable being a queer person myself. Um, but the thing that I liked about that set is that everyone was, uh, you know, like very sensible about how they interacted with people from like different communities. Like, um, and before I was uh, asked on set, I was asked what my, I want my pronouns to be. Um, when I got on set, everyone was all, uh, always very lovely and very supportive. Um, so yeah. Nice. Shab? Um, a set that's been pretty, I, I was on set actually one time with, uh, yeah, this company that like, we do like a welcome to country every morning depending on whereabouts in Queensland we were and like we would do um, and we talked about our boundaries and did a lot of intimacy work before we even got to set which yeah. was really great because awesome. I think a lot of the times pe like, um, people who forget about safety and intimacy for actors and stuff mm. is yeah. where you feel unsafe. I think a lot of work has to be done before you get on set to get to that place. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I've been on a lot of student films which have been really awesome because being uh, fellow students, you know, they're very um, kind of understanding of the kind of creative process and checking with me if I had any ideas as well which has been really great to yeah. like collaborate and yeah there's been sets where uh, there was one where it was out in the open freezing cold at night time <laughs> and they'd always check in like are you okay are you warm and I'm like yeah, yeah all good so they're just kind of checking in where I'm at and yeah just feeling really yeah, yeah. involved. Lovely. My I think the sets that I've enjoyed the most are the ones where all members of cast and crew are just kind of navigating a really beautiful tango with each other and understanding that there doesn't have to be set roles all the time and a comment that your gaffer or your best boy might make can totally influence a performance and right, is just yeah. as valid as something that a director says. Yeah. Um, and whether you're working in a multidisciplinary environment or just in screen or just in theatre, sometimes those things get lost because often artists have to kind of unpack their ego in order to really be a beautiful and collaborative person to work with. But a, a set that I was on, everyone had just really nailed that and it was a really, really beautiful space. Yeah, awesome. So conversely, if you think about sets that were kind of the opposite, maybe a little bit tense, maybe just a little bit edgy, what was it about those sets that made you feel in that way? Sometimes with uh, like less professional sets and it's not on like uh, the people who are, you know, like just because you're not like on a professional set doesn't mean that you're not like a strong set or whatever, but some unprofessional sets or like student films, I've felt a little bit uncomfortable because I haven't felt necessarily like heard or listened to. Um, and also when people are still trying to figure out their process, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to have your process like sort of looked at and like yeah. explored as well. Um, so I, I've been on a couple of sets with like a big group of boys and it's just like, and it's so lovely for them to have like what they get to share together, but like not feeling included and not feeling like part of that sort of community uh, can feel a little bit jarring. So yeah. uh, sets like that can sometimes be a little bit like, yeah, as, as like a gay man and it's just like, oh, I'm the only gay in the village. So it can be a little <laughs> bit that. It can be a little bit that. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel like um, if, if the onus on being safe is, comes from you, that's not safe. Like people in positions of power who um, are running the set need to have those conversations or like should prioritize maybe um, making sure everyone's on the same page about how to make things safe as opposed to just letting it happen and when things happen that are not maybe the most comfortable for actors or other crew mm -hmm. members um, then dealing with it as it comes but not having processes in place already I think that's usually what is the worst thing ever like knowing that no one's thought about it like what's gonna happen if something happens that's really uncomfortable because then a lot of the times what happens is you don't get hurt when it does happen mm -hmm. because the processes aren't in place to hear what you've said and take it to someone who has power to fix it 
and so you feel really unheard and whatever issue you had just keeps happening mm -hmm. again and again. Yeah. That was really inarticulate. But, yeah. <laughs> no, definitely. I think communication is the biggest thing yeah. um, that I've kind of gone through in terms of when it's not there, that's the thing that kind of makes a set a bit more uncomfortable because there's just lack of communication through um, not only the cast and crew, but the crew themselves. So right. yeah, I think it's just being communication is the biggest thing I've faced as an uncomfortable thing. Yeah. I think for me, I find it really challenging uh, being an actor in a position where I can tell the people who are making the work are not necessarily that interested about telling the story. They're playing to something that's higher than, mm. than necessarily the truth of the scene or the moment. And sometimes that comes from, you know, having no budget and no time and things are being done really quickly. Or sometimes it's because they're trying to tell a story to tick certain boxes and actually don't have really that solid of an idea about how to tell this ethically and beautifully. Mm. And I find that quite challenging to be on. And when you're in those positions, it, it doesn't necessarily feel really comfortable to vocalise that. Yeah. And so then actors find themselves kind of trying to be malleable and adjust to a vibe that just isn't really helpful. So I think that is that is quite concerning yeah. when actors are in those spaces. Also to like the opposite of that as well, when, when people in, who are making the story aren't authentically telling their own stories and you're the person whose story they're telling mm -hmm. and having to do all these extra jobs of consulting and being like a cultural consultant or yeah. like yeah. whatever it is that you didn't sign up for, you're not getting paid for. Mm. You don't have the qualifications or the... the um, and you're like representing a whole community on your own. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. really hard. And the, like that weight of that on, so on an yeah. actor's shoulders, because like, uh, like obviously actors are very much part of the collaborative process or like we want to hope so but also at the end of the day sometimes we can also just be a little bit meat puppety like you know like yeah. we're coming in to like uh, you know tell the story but like we're not creating the story we're not writing the story we're not the ones that should have like spent a whole bunch of time exploring the story we've kind of come in we've got to find our character and our moment but like yeah having to do all that extra work like you guys are saying it's just like Ah! <laughs> <laughs> worth being, like worth being said though that it's not always the easiest thing to speak out in in these situations because I think we're drilled into our brains that it's gonna be so hard for you to get a job mm. and you're probably not gonna get any money and you know you're probably gonna need your real job at some point so just lie down be quiet and take what you can get and I think yeah. that's a really dangerous mentality and I think it happens in small cities it happens in huge cities that yeah. if you want it hard enough you'll just do it and yeah. I think often um, queer people, people of colour and particularly women find themselves in places where they're like, well, uh, there are so few opportunities for me so I just have to like do it and make the best of it. And I don't know about you guys, but I've walked away from experiences and been like, at a moral level, I'm actually really disgusted that I had anything to do with this. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I felt like I just had to do it because what is everyone else going to think of me if I... This question was actually going to be what other advice you would all provide for anyone watching who is like a filmmaker or a theatre maker about how they can work with actors or just run a production generally. Mm. Yeah, you have an incredible, uh, incredible point there. It's uh, like uh, understanding the actor's process can help with everyone um, and like to like jump and like to continue on with that understanding story is really important because like if you're all there to tell this story then naturally you're all going to work together to be able to make that story come to life and like it's the actor's job to be the character in that story and it's like almost like you know like the pieces on a chessboard like you have to know what those pieces do and how they move and how they can like react to be able to like finish the game so to speak so yeah. like i think getting like a better understanding of all of the processes We'll just like and, and also like on us as well understanding what like yeah. tech people are doing yeah. and like um and like people behind the scenes are doing so we can understand what we're doing i've been on so many sets where i'm like I'm, i feel like i'm just delivering the performance and they're like no one can hear you and i'm like no one can hear me are you kidding me um but like knowing things like, yeah, like knowing things like that as well just like knowing that like you do have to like raise your voice or like if you're on like a tiny little screen and you're acting like all oh, out here yeah. all they're gonna catch is this and because you're so up close they're like you just went out out of shot and I'm like what I feel like I'm just doing the performance you know I totally yeah and I've had people actors disagree with me on this so I don't say it as much anymore but I have this <laughs> one, <laughs> <laughs> this, like, one director I work with who will tell me the shot we're in 
and she's a close friend of mine, so like she knows that that's what I like. Yeah, I but that. she'll be like, you're this close, so I know exactly what I can do. Mm. Whereas some directors I've worked with have been like, you don't need to know that, you just be in oh. you. And I find oh, that really, yeah. um, like, not patronizing, but like belittling or something. Like I mm. feel like, like I can do my job. Like I can do it. I don't need you yeah. to like tiptoe around me. Mm. Like you, you yeah. know what I mean? Like I find that really just being honest and communicating what exactly is going on and what your references are and stuff to the actors and, mm. and to the lighting and the crew and like everyone yeah. to be on the same page because then people can bring more. Like people aren't just your little puppets to like make your story come to life. If you yeah. share it, you can totally get so much more. 100%. What can all these yeah. people bring to this one thing? Yeah. Like and people can be very like narrow minded and be like, this is this is what I see. But it's just like, but look at all of this like bounty that you have to offer, you know? <laughs> yeah. like, and that being said, like actors also have a duty to understand all these other beautiful roles that back of house, front of house, cast, crew, everyone plays a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes actors can be quite insular. Mm. And like, I get where that comes from because often you don't have a lot of time and the camera's in front of you and you have to work out your, sh your stuff very quickly. Yeah. Um, but it's important to remember that everyone is playing a really valid role. Mm. And the way you speak to the person who's lighting you on your right matters. Yeah. That's yeah. like a big piece of advice. My, my dad, the best thing he ever said to me is if you want to be an actor, you need to remember that you're just like a plumber. You go to work, you do your job, it's a craft, you you care about the people that you're working with, but you are no more important, you are no more entitled mm. to any kind of privilege than the person who makes your sandwich on your break. Yeah, so and true. And I was like, so true. humbled, thanks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm uh, needed that. I'm like, really, really grounded yeah. by my parents, but Love I that. think that's, you know, it'd be nice if more people had that mentality. Totally. Well, with that, folks, <laughs> thank you so much for watching Couch 44. Thank you all for being here. It was a pleasure. Got into some really good topics. Fantastic discussion. I uh, will see you next time on Couch 44.